Hi everybody, welcome back to another episode of the AVS show. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe, share with your friends, and also add us on Instagram, the AVS show. Guess what guys? Another day, another countdown. If you've been watching us, you know every now and then we do countdowns on the show. Mm -hmm. We love our countdowns. And today, we are going in mm. with another countdown. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. We're ready. All right, so with today's countdown, we're going to count down 10 best couple goals. What we think are couple goals out there, African black love. All right? Exactly. So, Charlie, this, this new haircut, though. Oh, my God. I, was I say, know. Look at I like it. Hair. Leave I my like hair it. alone. Thank I you. Like I was going like to say, it, the glass, everything. Thank you. It's all white. Like, I like oh to change it up. You know, switch it up. Looking mm. fresh. Yes. yes. All right, so let's, let's go in. <clears throat> mm. Let me sip some water first. <laughs> All right, so 10 best couple goals yeah. out there, African black love. The first on my list, who I chose, please don't come at me. I and it's <laughs> not in any particular order, no, right? It's, it's just 10 of our favorites. Yeah. Okay. Yes. It's Shata Wale and Shata Michi. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Oh, she's also Shata? <laughs> yeah. Yes. He named her Shata Michi. <laughs> yes. so, yeah, I like that. This <laughs> is couple goals for me, and I'm going to tell you why. It's not your typical black love. It's really not. Hmm. <laughs> Shatawali Shata met her when she was 17 years old. Wow. Okay, And he was much older than that. He, um, she used to be a, a presenter mm -hmm. and a, a TV host. And, you know, he went to Shatawali for an interview. <laughs> and that was it. And never came back. <laughs> and she got, she got interviewed. And she got interviewed. But w <laughs> one thing that she said was that she was always attracted to Shatawali because she likes bad boy image like she's always really? been attracted to the by the bad boy image thing and what i really love about this relationship is that he treats her like a queen he puts her on um he bought her new boobs Really? Yes. Wait. <laughs> wait. Are you serious? Yeah, she, she, has, she, has, yeah, she has a boob job. And he oh, said it that I bought her boob. I mean, who who did? I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you said, I, wait, you said he treats her like a queen. He bought her new boobs. boobs. <laughs> this, <laughs> no, and and also like he he introduced her into his world. So Shatamichi has been uh, in a lot of Shatawali songs. Mm. Um, Love Temple. Mm -hmm. Is it Love Temple? Yeah. We have a couple of songs. Low, low tempo. Low that song is a really dope song. Yeah, song. yeah they, they really do love each other, guys. And the girl doesn't have one jealous bone in her body. She really? wants. Yes, yeah, she once said in an interview that Shatawali can do whatever she want, um, he, he wants. wants. Really? Shatawali can do whatever um, he wants because she knows what she can do. Like you can go out there, all the side chicks. I don't have to talk to the side chicks because Shatta knows what it is. Hmm. But you know, hmm. I've never even heard about a story of him and a side chick. Like I've I've never heard Most of like him and other girls. There's always rumors though, but not. I've, like, I've never yeah. heard anything. I mean, as a celebrity, of course, everywhere you go, girls are gonna be all over you. But I've never heard any solid details. But for me, they definitely are couple goals because this is real love. This is not like celebrity love mm -hmm. or they're with each other because, you know, yeah. he's this or she's that. They really, really genuinely love each other. They have a beautiful son together. They're mm. always together. He takes her everywhere. And you, you just see how much he loves his, his woman. Yeah. Like, you can mm -hmm. see it. If, if that's what you guys say, everything, then definitely they're a couple goals. But the only thing that is not go yet is his hairstyle. <laughs> I don't Aww. like that. What is his hairstyle <laughs> done? That's the way he want to express himself, like yeah. just the way you want to express yourself and the way I No, it's not I a goal for me. That's what I mean. No. But they're a couple goals. Your hair is not a goal for me either. Are you sure? <laughs> I don't. I don't. Um, are they married? I'm not they sure are if not, they are, they are they're not, they're not married, but, but they think, do have a child together. Yeah, but okay. I don't think either or is like going anywhere anytime soon. Yeah. She's an actress, a TV host, a presenter, and like Charlie said, lately they have songs together. They've performed at mm -hmm. award shows together, does she and sing I too? love it. She does. Yeah, she kind of does like like dance hall music thing. Wow, that's yeah. impressive. She's doing very it all. very impressive. So that's gonna be my number one. So we're gonna move on to number two, and who do we have on the list for number two? Number two is. Ivy, what do you have for us? For number two, I have Ay and uh, Mabel Macoon. I don't know. Who oh, Ayo so Macoon. What? You don't know them? The I'm biggest comedy he's, show in Africa. He's like hilarious. Ay comedy. Well, like. anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> as a comedian. No, he's he's actually really really a uh, huge Nollywood star, and she's an interior direct um, decorator, and they met in 2008. And the reason I liked their marriage was not only just because this adorable photo, I really love it, but um, 
just how they met and they've been together and he's a comedian he's a famous comedian in yes. Nigeria and he yeah. can have so many women and you never really hear any rumors True. of him with other women and he's always with his wife and mm. I just I just appreciate that I guess yeah. for me and if you're so big and you're so popular in Nigeria and you're like a big celebrity yeah. you usually have like a lot of women you know trailing yeah. after you and there hasn't been any of that and he does talk about how he loves his wife and she's always around she's always there and I just appreciate that like yeah. take your wife around yeah. <laughs> it brings her to the limelight yeah, a lot. Exactly. And they actually they actually um, both went to Delta State University, Abraka, which is where I graduated from. Congratulations. Delta boy. So and he met her in school in university. Then he was just a stand up comedian. You know these things now, you just stand up. Then yeah. comedy was even more difficult because exactly. we didn't have the platform, the social media where you can yep. just go on Instagram, say any rubbish and get popular. Then he had to travel around, you know, do a lot of comedy and she was always his girlfriend. I can see why this couple are your couple goals because mm. you love to laugh. And as a comedian, he's going to make you laugh. laugh. Yeah. You know, it's, and, and it's going to be a fun, you know. Watching them. Watch yeah. you know, couple, you know, because this n it's not going to be a dull moment. Yes, yeah. I like mm -hmm. that. Definitely, definitely. And your daughter is so pretty. Yeah, as yeah. well. Awesome. All right, so let's move on to next. number three on our list. Who do we have next? It's going to be Temi Otadela and Mr. Easy. Ooh. Now, I love, I, I love these two as a couple just because they're you so... Do? I, I like how no, it's like you wonder, are they a couple? Are they not a couple? Mm -hmm. And I always think that when you're a celebrity, it's nice to keep some things in your life private, you know, not to show us like everything. Because when you show us everything, then we end up using it against you. True. <laughs> so um, it's, it's definitely young love because she's young. She's 21 and she's with Mr. Easy and they're just so cute together. As we all know, Mr. Easy is a big artist. Mm -hmm. He's one of the probably top 10 Afrobeat artists out right now. And she is DJ Cuppy's little sister. Mm. And she also has her own fashion company. She's a fashion blogger, fashion consultant. She's even been, been nominated mm. for, she didn't win, but she was nominated for like blog of the year in Nigeria award. This, this is when, so it's funny, when I heard Cuppy and um, Easy's fight song. I was like, oh, let me find out DJ Cuppy's date and um, Mr. Easy. You know, like me and my friends, we, we thought maybe there was something going on. And then um, Mr. Easy attended this wedding with Temi, and that's when Aww. that was when we finally realized, like, okay, they are dating because he um, he put, posted a picture with her and he said, um, "My biggest fan." And it was just so cute. And then on Snapchat, and you know, he brought her to Ghana with him. So it, he hasn't confirmed. They haven't confirmed that they're dating. They are dating. They are dating. Yeah. Okay. I mean, his very clear. Birthday, his last birthday, she actually flew with Chopper to wish him a happy birthday. Yeah. Wow, yeah. money for you. I want to fall in love. <laughs> so she's definitely. <laughs> So she's definitely not with him for the money because well, yeah. there's a lot of coins in that family. Yeah, yeah. she's fine. She's fine. Yeah. All right. So okay. So the reason why they are your couple goals is because they, they are very low key with their relationship. Is that mm, why no. you chose them? No, not just that. I mean, I think it's great. It's like fashion and music coming together. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? And she comes from like this big family. Mr. Easy does not. As, as someone just said that, like, but so it still shows that they really do love each other. And mm -hmm. it's like young love. It's up and coming. I mean, he's not this big super, he's not at the peak of his career yet. Yeah. And she's not at the peak of her career yet. Mm -hmm. And they're still together. And I think together they can do a lot. Actually, I think just this week, she did her first segment with a celebrity styling. And mm -hmm. he was... He was her first yeah, guest, of course. First guest. Oh. Okay, yeah. Do you know? Do you get what I mean? So like, it works. Like they're in the same industry, kind of. They're growing and, together. And as they grow together, it can get to places. Just to be couple goals doesn't mean that like you have to be older or you have to have kids or you have to be married. Mm. Not everyone wants to get married. Not everyone wants True. to have kids. So it's a good way to show positive love. All right. Positive young love as mm -hmm. well. Yeah. So mm -hmm. let's move on to the number four on the list. Yes. Speaking of growing together, number four on the list is a couple that have really grown together. Peter of P Square and his wife, Lola. Okay, so which one? Because Peter and Paul, I, I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> this one, which this P one? Which P are we talking about the today? The one without the dread, the one okay. without the dread. <laughs> I, I, I chose Peter and this is because I know him more personally. Ooh. And Peter, outside the camera, outside his artistic lifestyle because it's very entertaining we know he's the one who does the dancing the other one does the singing happy for you keep singing peter and his wife they have been together for 14 years mm. wow they actually got married four years ago mm -hmm. but they've been together for 14 years wow, that's a long so time. that's what we call growing together so mr easy and timmy are just like the new peter by the grace of god 
and his wife. They were in school together, they grew their careers together, and today they're still together. They have beautiful kids, and he even took her out for a vacation recently. He took Aww. her to Dubai. They had a great time with the family, and they, I don't think they've ever had any scandal issues about any girl or side chick or anything. So that's something Wait, to be proud of. Wasn't this the same lady that caused them to separate? No, she didn't cause oh. anything. Oh. People were just saying <laughs> that. Just saying. People always say when brothers fight is the wife, they have bad wives. But I mean, that's not always the case. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They are grown men. If they want to fight and they want to settle, they should fight and settle. Absolutely. You know what I, I feel from this picture? I feel like they are also friends and they like yeah. each other. Because they're different between loving somebody and liking their behind. Like, <laughs> but, <laughs> but in this, I feel like, you know, there's a friendship there as well. A best friend there as well. So I could see why they are your best um, Spending 15 years with somebody? That, yeah, I gotta be best friends. That's, that's what that's I was long just time. going to say as well. That, I mean, 14 people get married for 72 days and divorce. People <coughs> get married Kim. for two years and divorce. So 14 years is a very very long time and yeah. I actually had the pleasure of um, I had like I was having lunch and their whole entire Sunday brunch and their whole entire family came wow. yeah, to have see, brunch. Yeah, where do you hang out? Because I need to like, <laughs> <laughs> every oh, episode she I, knows somebody. I need to go I don't know them. I never... I could tell you. I never tell said us. that. Tell tell us. Us. I could tell you. I, tell ne I never <laughs> said that. I, I, I don't know them. Okay, that's true. But I was just having brunch and their whole, literally, when I say their whole entire family, both brothers, both wives, the wow. kids, okay. maybe like a good 18 of them. And they wow. all came, had sat at a big table next to, next to where I was. So, of course, you know what I mean? I said hi, whatever. Just like, you know, it's P square, whatever. But it was amazing to see the interaction where they're like really, truly, just like a regular, normal, happy family. Mm. I mean, I was surprised with the breakup because, again, both brothers were there. They were taking care of the kids. They were just hands-on mm -hmm. love. Like, you could really see the love and the passion between the whole family. But right. well, Yazzie, you're always at the right place at the right time. Even it's if you not don't my know fault them. if you... Do you do it? I, it's Even not if it's my not fault the right you time, so make it the right time. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I mean, uh, listen, uh, when, wow. you, when you, some things come natural to certain people. Yeah, mm. I'm just a natural lover of people. <laughs> oh. I love going out. I'm I love dying. eating out. You guys know that already. If so. we weren't on if TV right now, food, I would be rolling be on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, next on our list. Oh, so the next on our list number is number five. five, and that is Van Vicker and Ajua Vicker. Oh, that's love a good one. this. I didn't, I didn't even know that choice. Um, Van Vicker was in a relationship. What? Because he, I didn't know, you know why? Because he's always playing this um, main um, actor, kissing Bad everybody, kissing. Yes. kissing everybody. Bad guy. <laughs> Bad guy. So I, I didn't know that, but you know, when I looked into it, love them, love them, love them. She's really smart. She has her master's degree in independent development. She went to school, like she has brains as well. Mm -hmm. They met on a bus in high school. Oh, wow. Aww. Yes. Yeah. So but all this time he's had a <laughs> woman. All this time somebody was <laughs> under <laughs> there. Oh, my God. I didn't know so that. So when they first met, though, when they first met, though, she was trying to, like, engage with, with him, offering him, like, gum, but he was playing hard to get. He was like, no, no. Uh-uh. <laughs> so it was the other way around. No, it was the other way around. Fine, but, like, you? they've been working together, and she's been she's been helping him behind the scenes, you know, pushing him. That's go audition right. for this. Go audition for that, you know. And they help each other. So with that, as my couple go, like, couples that can work together and help mm -hmm. each other out, sign me up. I'm, yeah. I'm all, you know. And she also lets him shine. Like, you know, mm -hmm. go go ahead, I'll take care of the um, three kids, and while I'm doing that, I'm going to classes online, I'm doing this and I'm doing that. Mm -hmm. I love this couple, love, love, love them. That's a for, good point. For me, in, in my opinion, this is like the best celebrity relationship. I mean, as much as like, you know, when two power couples are together, it works, I think it works even better when one is the famous power couple and you have that backbone behind you mm -hmm. that is, that people don't even know who that, know much about that person mm -hmm. but that person really is you know like what they say behind every every successful, com man. successful man yeah, there's woman. a is a strong woman like yeah. it's amazing black. you know and <laughs> <laughs> for me <laughs> oh, oh, all right go ahead i'm sorry it's okay love <laughs> for me i i love this i love it like she doesn't it's obvious that she's in it for the love like mm -hmm. you know yeah. ride or die she's been there from day one she's not going anywhere she plays her role behind the scenes like yeah. this is amazing and one thing I love about what she said was Van Vika is still the same. Like mm -hmm. the same yeah. little humble from, from the dude that 
she met. So mm -hmm. kudos to them. I think it's awesome. Awesome. Mm -hmm. that, that's why it works because sometimes when you both work in show business, you know, it becomes difficult. Like tour life, mm -hmm. it's like how how do you make that work? Mm -hmm. And that's why most of the time it ends in divorce. Because yeah. it's like, how do you make that both busy schedules, mm -hmm. both always out in the tabloids, both this? For me, it's much, it's much better. If, I think when one is like low key, stays behind the scenes. I, I definitely agree. So you have the number six for us. Number six, um, the dream goal couple is Annie and Two Face Ibada. In Dibia. Yeah. In Listen, <laughs> you're not gonna mess up the guy Your that wrote the, the, the <laughs> You're not gonna mess up the guy that wrote the best song ever. You I are my African, African queen. queen. You get it right. Girl, you're right. Queen. I'm sorry. All right. Forgive two, me. Two Face in Dibia. In Dibia. Yes. Forgive me. <laughs> so Two Face and Annie in Dibia. Um, they actually met each other when they were very young. They met like 18 years ago, and wow. so. Yeah. Just four years ago, um, they decided to get married. And, and that's what I think is really cool about couples like this. Like all the, most of the couples that we mentioned, they found their love a long time ago. They were there, they were there day ones. They were there before they were famous and had money. Yeah. And then now they're big. And so they didn't get distracted by the new women and new money and all this stuff. They they returned back home and, and married somebody they knew mm -hmm. growing up. And the thing about it, like Annie, I actually did not know they were married. I've actually been following her because she's a great actress. I've seen her in, in several films and, and, and uh, shows. And um, then I found out she was married to Two-Face. I was like, whoa, that's mm -hmm. a big deal. And yeah. how long did you say again? They've been married for four years. But, oh, they, they, but they met each other a long time, like 18 time. years ago. And that's what I always say. Sometimes it's not about marriage, you know? People always want to see get married, get married. This, clearly, they have a solid relationship. If your relationship is solid, you don't have to, you don't have to get married if you don't want to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good point. But yeah. the relationship, though, yeah. It's a real rocky initially. Baba, it's baba fine. Was it's yeah. I mean, none of the people that we are mentioning is perfect. Nobody's yeah, yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah. They're because, not perfect. Yeah. But when I see this picture, all I can think about is the African Queen lyrics. Yes. Yeah. The part where Two Face said, "I'll give you my my money, my body, and my money." Wait, it was probably Girl is so her. happy. She's getting all of it. <laughs> and she's she's getting the thing. money. You know the, the body. You know the interesting thing. She was in that video. She was in that. I, she oh, was. she was? She so that song wait, was, was she the one with the bald head? Yes. She was the one with the bald head? Go watch it again. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Let me tell you something. When I was a kid, that video was like the most beautiful, like the exactly. I was like, oh, I love you know her, like her smile. Yeah. I'm going back to watch that video again. She is beautiful. Please watch it again. When MTV Base came to Africa, that was the first video that aired on MTV Base. OMG. Africa. And she her was head there. looked like mine right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's life. <laughs> no. <laughs> it did. That's a long right. time ago. That's a long time ago. <laughs> so what number was that? That was number six. Number six. <laughs> All right. So we're going to move on to so next, number seven. Yes, number seven. And again, not like in any particular order, just our 10 favorite couples. And for me, it's going to be Banky W and Adiswa. Oh, and, um, beautiful. I just love them together, the two of them together. They're both very... Sus and it's funny. Mm -hmm. They were in a movie together where they got married, right? Okay, because... Feel my heart. So I'm like, wait, <laughs> when was the wedding? I, I was supposed to be there. Oh, no, they so like, what, no, seriously. Oh, you didn't get the invite. No, you didn't. I got mine, but I had to shoot for me. Oh, whatever. Yeah. 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 But so this was, was so this wasn't me. a movie, not real life. No, yes, this is a movie, movie, not real life. But the whole time they were dating, and I guess <laughs> we didn't know. Nobody yeah. did. It wasn't it wasn't public that they were dating. Yeah. The mm -hmm. wedding is supposed to be, I think, on the 18th Soon. of November. Soon, it's gonna be huge. Soon, yes. Yeah. I mean, we're not sure. They might have moved the date because, mm. unfortunately, Banky has been sick for a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. So we're not sure when the wedding will be, but um, it's I just love the two of them together. They're both very hand, very beautiful, very mm -hmm. talented. Yeah. I love how they kept it low key. For me, when you keep it low key, it's like you're building that foundation. Like you're you're making it solid because when you're famous and you just bring everything out there, out there, people mm -hmm. have so much to say. Yeah. Sometimes it can cause friction or bring yeah. tension. People on the begin to find the faults that are not even there. Mm -hmm. Yes. Know? Mm -hmm. problems for you guys mm -hmm. he engaged that in south africa early this year i think february and nobody knew about it yeah Oli Ibuka, one mm -hmm. other guy then he announced it to us like four months three to four months later right mm -hmm. so they're beautiful they're very inspiring very nice they're couple. like the first couple to get married before engagement because I they, know, actually, right? they actually got married in a movie yeah. and it felt like it was but real. You've seen that movie, right? Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. It was I a mean, great but movie. Yeah, yes, based on your list, you have a lot of low-key stuff going on. 
What is going on with your low key goals? Are you hiding no, something? No, no, no. I, I, I like that though. I like it that as well. But though. Child. Wait, Yazi, so did you change that ring from your left hand to your right hand? Oh God, this is not about me. We're talking about the ten, <laughs> ten, fa our ten favorite couple goals mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. African okay. community. And Banky W, may I say, like I just this woman must mm. have the heart of gold. Because mm. Banky is like the ultimate ladies' man. Mm -hmm. yeah. So for her to be able to like not only date Banky, but then get engaged mm -hmm. and then now getting married, mm -hmm. I need to know the secrets. Adeswa, spill the beans. Let you us know. I know the secret. What's the what secret? Well, it secret? was just a, a basic question. Would you be my lover? <laughs> yes. No. Yes. yes. No. Yes. No. yes. And what did she check? Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to move on to the number eight. Oh, yes. yes. Number right. eight is another young couple, um, Iceberg Slim and Juliet I Ibrahim. Ninja and Ghana. Yes, that's best a, of that's, both worlds. That's a good one. That's a good one. Best, best, best of both worlds. You, know, you guys like that mix? I love these two together. <laughs> Charlie. <laughs> face. No, I, no, all I just asked was the question. Do you guys, you guys like that mix? So, listen, as much as people don't want to hear this, I always say, I believe that in another lifetime, Nigerians and Ghanaians were one. Is that I, a myth? I, like, I, I really yeah. believe that. We just have so much in common, so True. much simila similarities, and our competition against each other just is one. all healthy, positive competition i love these two together i love it <laughs> they show their love yeah and they're just so in love they even have tattoos mm -hmm. they have matching tats matching. and you know what i like about the tats it's not like he got her name and she got his name it's, it says l-o-v -E. and one has l-o and then the other one has v-e -E. so yeah. when you put it together oh. it connects oh you my could God. just tell that he breaks her back ow Whoa. no you could just <laughs> look at the Whoa. picture listen look at the picture yeah. ivy you know. <laughs> and you, you can tell she's loving it. She's like, like, I can't wait to get home and get some of this. Did you guys, no, did you guys no, read, can you read what she said, Yazzie? What, 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 what did she, she say? say? I actually allowed that Wait, this is what she said. The love what she you said. give each other when you know you, you, made, made, the right you made the right choice. choice. But, it, right but I think it, it, is, it is important, that part as well. You know, good sex help. Mm. Relationship lasts longer. But you know, um, mm. she has dated a lot of rich, powerful men. Mm. Do you know? I'm, okay, I shouldn't say a lie. I think two that I know of. Mm. A rich, oh, powerful yeah, man. Zee. And for her <laughs> to go with Iceberg, because mm -hmm. I'm not saying Iceberg, he's he's not as rich as those other men. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you get what I mean? He's an artist. He's not the biggest superstar of Nigeria. So you definitely got to know that she really has to love him. And you can tell, like, from the things that they post on social media. He was just in Ghana, they, like, the interview and stuff. He really, really loves and adores her. He yeah. treats her like the queen that she is. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's not necessarily all about money. Mm -hmm. It's the about back. good D and oh treating her like God. the queen that she is. <laughs> <laughs> I love them together. They though. really look in love. Yeah. yeah. So Every it's not time. about breaking the back out. That's that's important too. I mean, that's important. Okay. That is always so important. But what but what I'm saying is like he really must treat her like a queen because she has options. She's Juliet Ibrahim. Yes. She yeah. has so many different options. Ah, uh, she could date anybody she wanted to date mm -hmm. in all of Africa, and yeah. she has like so, dated some prominent people. So for yeah. her to choose him, listen. He's definitely true. Yes, her right. he's definitely mm. right. And he <laughs> has great music as well. So yeah. let's go to our number nine on the list. Who do we have? Our number nine is Mercy Johnson and Prince uh, Okiji. Okoji. Okoji. So the reason I like them is... Um, Okay, first of all, I like this picture. I, I love like that picture. And wow. she's always pregnant. She was kind of like, every time I see this her. This like the pictures we used to take when we were, yes. you know, with our family. You have a big frame in the yes. house. Yes, it, it literally reminded me of a family picture. Wow. <laughs> but I like this, and they've been married on, on this is his second uh, marriage. And the reason I, I like them is because they had, a, like, a rocky beginning, and they just made it through. Like, they're in the entertainment industry. I feel like it's hard to maintain a marriage in the entertainment mm -hmm. industry. And they have so many kids, and they just seem, you never really, after they got married in 2008, you never hear anything about them. You just see her pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, like Charlie said, yeah. the D. The that D. means that the D. That you said with Juliet Ibrahim that the D the makes back. the relationship Breaking work. The I didn't say that. I said the back. I said something Breaking about that. I didn't say <laughs> that. Where are you going with that? Wait, isn't breaking the back about the D? Uh, that's not what I'm How saying. Uh, that's what you talk. You, 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 you. So what were All you right, saying? let's go. On. No, what I'm saying about this picture is, <laughs> when you when when you Google the average African family, family. I think this is what you're going to find. Yes, this is what you're going to find. Bunch of back-to-back -back little kids. <laughs> like 12, 5, 6. Yes. 
you know, the mother, the father. I, I love this. It just seems familiar. Yes, it looks like, yeah, this is it. And and what I like about them is I like when celebrities are relatable. It makes me like you more. Yeah. Like, this yeah. is so relatable because what, if you have kids, you know, you cannot get three kids <laughs> to all smile and Nobody's say cheese at, the, at camera. the camera at the same time. Yeah. No one's looking it's, at the camera but Mercy. Yes. <laughs> all the kids are like... But I, I like it because, you know, Mercy Johnson's a huge star. Like, yes, she's very like, huge. She's her huge. Body. And so she calm. You know, the fact that she married a man. Her, who, act. What are you talking about? No, her body's banging, too. Yeah, she's no. After having these three kids. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's that good Niger jeans. Yes. No, she, yeah. So I just like it because she, she married someone who's not, um, who's a lot more quiet than her, you know, reserved. And she's this huge megastar. And I like that. I like so when this, somebody So this do is that. a couple goal for you because this is how you picture your, your family. Your family. <laughs> right. well, I just want to know, are you trying I to like have three babies? <laughs> well, I'm trying to have ten. Yeah. What? Listen, I do want to have more a lot than of kids. Marrier. The more the merrier, for yeah. sure. Really? But I also just, mm. I just like... When people just are calm down, I don't hear any rumors of you and other women. I only see your wife. I see you guys calming down. And now she's starting, I guess now they've stopped, decided to stop having more children because now she's starting to act again That's and all those things. So I like that. I like, I like that. Yeah. They probably said, let's get it in. Let's go in hot. Boom, boom, bada, bada, bang. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> bada, bada, bang. Baby one, take one, two, three, baby more baby steady, bang. Two. Baby two, you know? <laughs> and then now she's like, okay, I got my three kids. Yes. I don't know if he has kids from the previous marriage. No. Does he know? No. Yeah, yeah, so they, ah, so they have three kids. Perfect. Yeah. Three, three is more than like, enough. Have everybody ever noticed that this couple look alike? They look like siblings. I mean, but do you, you know that? If you see them on ground. Go ahead. I think I was to say the, the same, same thing. thing. Like whenever a couple is together for a long time, they start to look alike. That's yeah. True. yeah. yeah. We start to look alike. That? We've been here for a long time. We, but we, we're going we to <laughs> move on to the number 10. Last but not the least. On our list, and I think Ivy, you have that as well. Yeah, the last couple I chose, um, Sissy Yemi and her husband Yomi. And the reason I love them is because Sissy Yemi, oh, right? They I don't look you alike. know. <laughs> okay, well, I'm sorry. Maybe they haven't been together long enough. They're no. Together, no, they're married in 2012. The reason I like them is because um, I just like Sissy. And the thing is, you know, she's a vlogger. She um, does a lot. She's a huge Nigerian like vlogger. based vlogger. And she what shows she her about? life, her life, okay. cooking and her life. And she takes you along her journey. Like I started watching when she got pregnant with her son. So she literally videotaped almost like daily about her, like her, the pregnancy and about her husband. Her husband works overseas and he comes back and, and all these other things and how um, she exploring Nigeria. And I just love that her husband's the, the, uh, the reason that she started blogging. Her mm. husband's like, I see that you're talented in this. I see that you can write. I see you can do this. You need to start blogging. You need. He pushes her mm. and he encourages her. There are a lot of people who could be more ambitious, could be more of whatever, but their spouse doesn't support yes. them. And you, her right. husband gives her nothing but love. Aww. Her son is lovely. Like she just is, and she's showcasing her life. And you believe it because it's like very believable. I, I just, I don't know. I just love them, and I, I love that her husband is so supportive and backed her even before blogging was a thing yeah. Yeah. you know let's be honest like blogging wasn't even a thing here until like couple five years, yeah, ago, couple yeah. years ago in nigeria when she's walking around with a camera and her husband the lights are out the, and everything exactly wow. so i All right, love no, that no we'll i just love that shades <laughs> yes it wasn't shade but go ahead the so lights you know, are out you know a couple of things that i've taken from our list is you know they've have had their day ones yeah they've had couples to support each other support each other's Ups goals and, and each, other, each other's dreams. Mm -hmm. And also that sometimes being opposite works, like yeah. one being mm -hmm. in the limelight, one not, as mm -hmm. with the previous couple with Mercy and her husband. Mm -hmm. Mercy's out in the limelight, her husband is so much so not so, yeah. you know? And it's, mm -hmm. I, I really like that. I think bounces Kudos to you guys, this were some great, great names and lists of the couple. Let us know in the comments. Did we miss anybody that we were supposed to mention that we didn't? Yes. Let us know in the comments. Mm -hmm. Who is your favorite couple go out there? Let mm -hmm. us know. Until then, you're watching me in the TV. This is the ABS Show. Thanks for watching. And if you liked this episode, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. See you next time.